Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had a kids. I'm Q the Coast Rican, and today we are back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet random Wi-Fi battles. Today we have a very, very fun team. I wanted to try and use Infernape for one last time. Not one last time, but you know what I mean. Like the the, the DLC two is coming out very soon, three days, and uh, um, you know a lot of the older, newer Pokemon aren't gonna you know gonna be left in the dust, and we're gonna be trying to use some of the newer guys. So I figured let's try and get Infernape out there. Um, but then once I started building a team, I was like, wait. Wait, this actually is really funny. So a lot of times when you're building teams, a lot of cores, people like to tell you to run are Fire, Water, Grass. Check. We got that. And then Dragon, Steel, and Fairy, which we don't technically have, but we do once we terrestrialize our Overquill with the Scale Shot Pin Missile Crunch SD set. Guys, they gave Overquill Scale Shot, and now it might be broken. Let's find out. Uh, it was a really hard decision whether I should run... Um, crunch or poison jab or I guess gunk shot basically like it was either dark or poison coverage I was like which one should I go because this set obviously gets walled by fairy types, but then poison jab uh, Pin missile scale shot got walled by steel types. So I was like it's it's a double-edged sword granted I guess I do have a few more things for steel types on the team with banded infernape iron leaves with the CC coverage Corvin ever body press so like maybe I could have gotten away away with running cr uh, poison jab instead of crunch and then I guess also I Probably didn't need Pin Missile on there. I just thought it was really nice to have, like, another loaded dice move outside of uh, Scale Shot. Um, but, yeah, man. Really fun set. Got the Intimidate because we don't need Swift Swim or Poison Point. Intimidate potentially allows us to SD in front of something that we switch in on. Um, but, yeah, man. Uh, looks like a really fun team. I want to try it out and see how it goes. It's either going to be Infernape, Iron Leaves, or Overquill hopefully popping off. I haven't used Iron Leaves since, like, it got introduced during the raids. And I used it, like, one time and then really never again. So... Let's try it. We're going to try it. We get a boost or attack boost, and then we get a speed boost or trailblaze. Could also be pretty fun. The Poke Pace is in the description down below if you want to look at all the EV spreads. And if you want to use the team for yourself, the team ID is in the right-hand corner, MG2VL5. Let me know in the comment section down below how it went for you if you ended up using it, as well as any other new Pokemon that are either currently in the game or going to be in the game in a few days. Uh, that you want to see me use let me know that in the comment section down below as well but if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and click that subscribe button we upload battles every single day we stream periodically when the dlc drops we will be live with the homies so don't you worry if you uh for some reason can't get the dlc right now you can vicariously you know play the game through us while we're watching while while we're playing it and stuff like that regardless like i already said subscribe if you're new i hope you all enjoy the battles all right y'all here we are with the first battle we see a very very interesting team um really cool guys a lot of cool guys i think quillfish low-key could fuck around and fuck around same thing with <gasps> iron leaves the king gambit does kind of stop the overcrow from doing what i wanted to do but as long as we keep infernape alive we should be a-okay so i got a pretty good speed tier here um no, I don't. What am I saying? I think I'm just going to leave with Rotom. It looks really solid. I can do stuff and things. Or what if I just... Actually, what if I just lead Corviknight and then U-turn? Like a very passive... Very passive lead and just U-turn out. Uh, like the only thing that like worries me is like Specs Pult. But then if that's the case, I tank the hit. I U-turn. See what they lock into and then I get to go from there. They do have Torterra, which we love to see. That could very easily be um, like lead... Shell smash, lead rocks, it could be anything. Who knows, man? Regardless, see how see how it goes, man. Let's see how it goes, brothers. They do lead off with Torterra. So I mean this leads me to believe that it might just be a rocks lead, but like at the same time, you know, I I am a Corviknight. Um I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird raw because that'll put him in range of mock punch. So I'm just gonna Brave Bird. Not really gonna think too much about it. Um if they want to pivot into like Mandibuzz, so be it. I'll just get a slow U-turn off against that. Um, and they are just going to Shell Smash. So if they're not White Herb, this probably just kills them. And like I said, we're, it, it, this puts them in range of Mach Punch. So it's really not that big of a deal. Especially if they're not White Herb. Which a lot of them are loaded dice usually. So let's see. They aren't, so they're just dead. Yeah, they're, they're just dead. Yeah, GG's. <laughs> you do not lead. Smell, 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 smash, shell, smash, Torterra, and do that in front of Corviknight. Like I'm not gonna do anything about it. Like what the fuck? That was so funny. All right, well, one threat eliminated, one ground type eliminated, which is really nice. Um, let's see what uh, where the day takes us. I mean, Corviknight looks so fucking good here, right? 
It looks good in front of so many things. Um, I could body press the Warring Moon. I could Brave Herd the Tusk. You turn on the Mana Butt. Like, look, it Brave... Uh, King Gambit? Oh, God. They don't know. Oh, who's going to fucking tell them, guys? Who's going to tell them? They're going to forfeit. I already know it. Uh, Corvinut's going to get two Okos. And they're just going to forfeit. Kotal Cleave? Oh, my God. I was going to say, I did a lot. That was a crit. That's why. Jesus Christ. Well, this will kill them, definitely. All right. Shout out, Corv. I mean, they did, in theory, weaken me down. Not in theory. They genuinely weakened me down pretty well um, for pretty much anyone to come in and revenge me. But if they go into, like, Mana Buzz, I'll just roost. If they go into Dragapult, yeah, that's fine. I mean, this is probably going to get a kill, I assume. Um, I think instead of potentially... Yeah, we have this as a Sash that should never... Yeah, it can't get broken by darts. So, yeah, we're just gonna we're just going to slowly U-turn, I think. I think that's our best play. Slowly you turn. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. That was never killing us. So now, I mean, we really... Do we even need webs up? Probably not. Right? Like, really the only thing I would want webs up is for, like, speed boost Roaring Moon. Um... I guess, right? But then they could spin with Tusk. But I guess if they go Tusk... They can't go... They can't... Wait. Rabombi just gets a kill. This kind of sucks. The team... The, <sighs> The team's not going to do what I wanted it to do, man. <gasps> yeah, nobody's... Oh, wait. They have mana, but wow. Verombi just 6 is the rest of their guys. <laughs> I don't need webs, man. I just don't. Yeah, they withdraw. Something's dead here. Literally something dies here. Like, their best bet is to go mana buzz and get 2 it KO'd. I guess it's terrible. This is just awful. Big damage. Like, what are they going to do here? I'm so curious. Are they going to Toxic? Are they going to Brave Bird? I kind of want to try and force the Quillfish to do something, guys. I really do. I think I might just try it. Because we're already established. We're going to be 6 0s the rest of the guys, right? Let's try, to, let's try to force Quillfish. Quillfish. Let's try to force Overquill to do something, even though it's, it might not be able to. Let's see. Because if they go... Yeah, Tusk kind of walls us, too. This kind of sucks, man. Who would have thought Corviknight would just destroy one third of their team? Just straight up. Two turns. Two turns. They call me two turns Corviknight. Or they call that Corviknight. Two turns Corviknight. All right. Overquill's in. We're getting an Intimidate attack stat drop in case they are Brave Birding here, which I assume they could be. But this also covers the Toxic play. They Terra, which is super interesting. Oh, I get it. I get it, I guess. I guess I get it. Terra Steel, okay. That's that's cool, I guess. This is their Rabombi check now. So it makes sense. Roost. Oh, we're going for game, boys. I want to just... I got to just SD Raw, don't I? Damn, this is where I wish I was Terra Bug now. So I can SD on the um, Great Tusk, like, really good. But you know what's crazy? Actually, wait. If I just SD here... Okay, wait. I don't know what they're doing. They're probably U-turning. But if I just SD here, and then they knock off. Aw, oh, fuck me. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm going to SD here, right? And hope they go into Great Tusk after this. Like, hopefully, like, a slow pivot, you turn into Great... Yeah, give me Great Tusk. I actually might just be able to get away with this right now, if they do go Great Tusk. Yeah, that's Great Tusk. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tear... A I'm going to tear a Dragon. Here's the thing, right? Even if... Ooh, Speed Boost. Please don't be Speed Boost. Attack. Perfect. Well, not really. We will die. But we're going to get a big crunch off, which is really nice. Defense drop? No. Anyways, we're going to Terra here, right? Here's the goal. We're putting it in a range of Booster Energy Trailblaze. Because then, that guy could win. So that's what we're going to do here. Overquill is going to use Scale Shot. No dice on him. But let's see if he can act like it's still there. Come on. Come on, Overquill. I know you can do it, buddy. We tried to force it. We're doing it. We're doing it together. Against the greatest of tusks. And they're most likely just, um, just offensive. Because they got an attack. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. They're naturally faster. <gasps> we live! Let's go, boys. This might kill. If we get five, it definitely kills. But we don't have the dice anymore. Rip. Rip the dice. We got to do it again, boys. We got to do it again, boys. Let's go. Come on, Overquill. 
Overquill, you could sweep this whole team right now if you just get three. Overquill. I don't know how much this crunch is going to do to Mana Buzz, though. That's the other thing. But it's fine. It's whatever. I actually hope I don't get two because this scare. I, mean, I hope I do get two. Okay, good. Because, and as long as I don't rapid spin. Ice Spinner. Perfect. Because now we get to go into Iron Leaves and just Trailblaze. Could Overquill of like just won the game for us? Maybe. There's a chance. Depending on the Mana Buzz um, spread. Because it would have been a neutral hit at plus two. Yeah, Crunch would not have done nearly enough. But it's all good. We get to go out into our Iron Horse. Trailblaze into CC into kill things, bro. Let's go. Overquill opened it up. Shout out Overquill. Scale shot might not have made Overquill broken, but eh. Maybe in the second game we'll get a nice Overquill sweep. Regardless, we get a big Trailblaze going here. And then if they want to pivot into Mana Buzz, we just close combat. I assume, um, a, you know, a boosted up Iron Leaves close combat should do some good damage, you know? I would hope so. Maybe not, though. Eh, 58 to 69. Wow, it doesn't do that much. It doesn't do nearly as much as we hoped. As we hoped. Maybe they don't have Brave Bird. I mean, if they do, they don't kill us. Unless we CC. If they have Foul Play, we always die. Wait, we might lose this. Ah, uh, no. Rebombi should be able to clutch. And then... Yeah, 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 yeah. We should be fine here. I'm just going to CC for damage. Big damage. Oh, look at that damage. If they don't Brave Bird or Foul Play here, we're golden. U-turn also might kill us. Tox! GG's. Let's fucking go. They don't have enough turns. Ain't no way. What is the set? Wait, what is the set? Because they didn't even U-turn on my other guy. What is they roosted in Toxic so far. That's it. Is it Protect? Is it really Protect? It's Protect, isn't it? That's crazy. Shout out Iron Leaves for being a fucking goat. Or a horse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, they got in a Roaring Moon. Unless they're a Speed Booster, we should be able to um, knock it out with CC. And then I assume Psyblade would knock out Pult. I don't know. I'm just going to, you know, that's my best move. So I'm going to go for it if they bring out Pult. And then, yeah. Let's fucking go, dude. Toxic Mandibuzz. It's crazy that Mandibuzz is like one of the mons that learns Toxic on level up. It's really weird. Like, the, like... Game Freak knew what they were doing when they made Mana Buzz. They are like, yeah, this mod's a piece of shit. Pretty tanky. Let's give it Toxic as a level up move. Why not? I, I get it. I definitely get it. She's a... What is it? She's a vulture, right? So like, And they're kind of like mean or whatever. So I guess that's the lore. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, Iron Lee's getting the sweep. Thanks to Overquill for weakening the Great Tosca. And also, shout out to the Mana Buzz for not having an offensive move to hit me. Because Foul Play 100% killed... And what's it called? 100% killed. Regardless, Sideblade's our best move, so we're going to go for it. They've already Terrid. Everything else is resisted. Let's go for Sideblade. Does it knock it out? Boost it up, Sideblade. It does not knock it out. Very unfortunate. But they U-turn! Which does kill us. So, we should... Keyword should... Be A-OK -okay here. We're going to be able to see if the Whirring Moon has Speed Boost. Or if it has the Attack Boost. Yep. <coughs> It might not even be um, boost of energy. Who knows? And then Rabombi should be able to clean up in that regard. Let's see. It's boost of energy, speed, or attack. The Great Tusk was attack. It's attack. Perfect. Rebombe should be able to clutch this one up. I could also just go Infernape and Mock Punch. I don't think it Okos, though. So I'm going to go Rabombi. I think it actually does. I kind of want to find out for science. Like, later. Let's look it up. Roaring moon. He's roaring. He's moon. He's roaring moon. Um, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, good. I I, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we just moon blast, and then moon blast the pulse. See, sometimes you know, sometimes you bring sticky webs on your Romby, and sometimes you just don't click it. Sometimes you just don't need to. Sometimes you can get away with it. Sometimes your Corviknight just kills two Pokemon in the first two turns, and then sometimes. Yeah, I don't know why they went King Gambit that early. That was weird. Against Corviknight, of all Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, against Corv? Like, what are you doing, brother? I don't know what they're going to try to click here. But nothing, nothing. They can't. 
Like, maybe... No. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing that could kill me. Phantom Force. Ooh, that's cute. That's so cute. What if I try to be fancy? Dragapult avoided the attack. Nah, there's nothing to be fancy about. GG's. That was, uh... Oh, my sash is broken. Oh, so this was banded, right? I, sh I assume this was banded. Because I feel... I know where Bombi's pretty frail. And Pult's decently strong, obviously. We all know this, but... I feel like that had to be banded in order to break my sash, right? Am I tweaking? Yeah. Yeah, it had to be banded. Either banded or adamant, and I got a super, super high roll. But I think it was banded. But all right, man. Yeah, that is, uh, showed off the power of Scale Shot Overquill. Coupled with potential, uh, almost sweeping with Iron Leaves. If we actually would have got, like, rocks up, if we had rocks on the team, that Pult would have died to Psyblade. But regardless, let's move on to the next one and see if we can actually get an Overquill sweep. Okay, guys. Here we are with the second battle. And once again, normally when there's an Uber... I kind of just back out and say, fuck it, let's try again some other time, right? But, you know, it's a Darkrai, and we do have Choice Band Mock Punch Infernape. So it's not looking like it's all that crazy, but it also could be super annoying. We're going to loot off with Rotom here. Uh, I'm not going to get up my webs with Rombi just yet, because the Cleavor looks like a pretty common lead. Um, as well as the, um, uh, the Mouse Hole could tidy up, like, very easily. So... Uh, to prevent that from doing anything crazy, <gasps> I'm going to go into Rotom, Volt Switch, into Corviknight if they lead Mouse Hold. And if they lead, like, Darkrai, I'll probably do something similar. I kind of want to see uh, Infernate Mock Punch. Does it Oko Darkrai? I know Darkrai isn't, like, super, super frail. Um, no, it does not. So it looks like we need a little bit of chip on that guy in order for Match Punch to do some damage. But we also... They do lead Cleavor. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Young Cleaves. Um, so I think what I want to do is, I want to, I'm kind of curious how much Corviknight takes from this, depending on what it is. I'm just going to Volt Switch into Corviknight, because they're, they're probably just going for Stone Axe. I can't get rid of it, unfortunately. It is what it is. You know what I mean? We're just going to have to deal with rocks for the rest of the game. But I can get up webs, and then they'll have to deal with webs for the rest of the game. So it'll be pretty nice. Anyways, we're going to Corv. We probably U-turn. And then we see where the day takes us. I do want to keep Corv at least, you know, slightly healthy. Man, that did a lot. All things considered, that did a lot. This is a Corviknight. I am going to click U-turn uh, on the incoming potential anything. And I want to stay at least a little healthy for the mouse hold. So let's U-turn. They could just stay in and click Stone Axe again. They could click U-turn. Like, they could do a lot of things here. They could hard switch and a Rotom, which is a really good play. Um, which is looks like what that's what they're going to do. But now, pretty much, Cleavor's in range of everybody else. So that's pretty nice. Uh, they do go into their own Rotom. Which leads me to believe that I'm going to go into something. I'm going to go into a Pokemon, dude. Did you Did you know? I'm going to go into a Pokemon. I think I just go into Iron Leaves, no? Based on that damage that U-Turn did, I feel like that Rotom is, like, so offensive. So offensive that it actually might be Scarf. But I think even if it is Scarf, um, being locked in a Leaf Blade isn't the end of the world. Um, yeah, how much did that Corviknight U-Turn do? It did, like, so much. Yeah, it did like so much. So that's like definitely no HP invested. So does an Iron Leaves Trailblaze just kill it? It does. Wait, I'm going to do that. Wait. I know we tried to make this the Overquill video, but hey, man, it might just be the Iron Leaves doing the damn thing. So yeah, if this... Okay, our boost energy pops. If this is Scarf and they trick us, that'll be silly. But if it's not Scarf and, we be, and we're able to Trailblaze the hell out of them here and kill them... They are Scarf. Okay, good to know. Good to know, good to know. Uh, regardless, we're going to get some big damage off on something. They could definitely go Sableye. But I feel like that's like a little silly as well. Because my Thunder, my Leaf Blade, sh you know, could knock them out. Like, I should I should be going for Leaf Blade here. But they go into Cleavor. Which just gives us a free uh, speed boost, which is really nice. So yeah, we're now plus one, plus one. Essentially. Well, the boost energy only boosts your attack by 1.3. So we're technically... Plus one speed with a life orb. Um, I'm curious to see how much the uh, we do to the Sableye with our big booster. We've played two KOs. They could always uh, Thunder Wave or Willow us, <gasps> us, but... Oh, this guy. They don't know. Do they know? Do they know? They might be Scarf. Guys, what are we thinking about? Will they be double Scarf? I don't think so. I'm going to close combat. There's no way they're double Scarf. Yeah, they don't know. They don't... Oh, it's Sash. Oh, I didn't know. 
Okay. Well, hopefully they're not agility. Oh, I don't know if it gets any speed boosting move. I have no idea. I've, I've never used Darkrai like that. Okay, that's fine. We could have Terrifying. I, I almost did, but it's whatever. This is why it's like, I was kind of okay with fighting this team after I saw it. Because, you know, it's a dark ride. I can just go like this and Volt Switch. It's not that big of a deal. Now, our webs are really non-existent. We genuinely don't need them at all. Because we're now faster than everything regardless anyways. The only thing that I would maybe want it for is the mouse hold. But, like, they're just going to tidy up eventually anyways. And then we just go into... We just, oh, we get momentum here too. Hell yeah. Into their Rotom? Okay, sure. I'll take that. They are, in theory, chipping us down a little bit, you know, with the rocks and stuff. But look at that damage. Like, that's in range of a Thunderbolt now, I think. So, like, I'm super okay with this. Um, I think what I want to do... I kind of want to just, like... Could I just go into Overquill and go for game, maybe? Maybe. Wait, they're in range of a Mach Punch, surely. Surely they're in range of a Mach Punch. Rotom Wash... Like, surely they're in range. They were, like, at 50%, right? Something like that. A little bit less. Surely they're in range of a mock Punch. Maybe. They might be. I think Overkill makes a little more sense. Damn. Oh, wait. No, I get walled by the fucking Enam. I'm gonna try it for the mock Punch. Get walled by the fucking Enam, bro. Uh, am I terrifying, actually? If I am, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I am. This is a little silly if they go hard into the ghost board, but then I just get to go over Quill and win, actually. No, I don't win because the fucking Enam. It was tough deciding. Like, should I be should I be Crunch or should I be Gunk Shot or Poison Jab? You know, like, it was, it was, it was tough to decide. I'm just going to mock Punch. It was tough to decide between, um, this should kill. Yeah. It was tough to decide between rocking out a Crunch or Poison Jab as, like, my stab move. But I guess I could have, I didn't need Pin Missile. It was just there because it was funny. So I guess I could have I could have just went dual stab scale shot. That's what I should have done, because then it would have just it just wins. I get in on the Sableye, I SD, I win the game. They can't touch me because they they can't well they can't burn me because a prankster, or they can't T wave me, they can't taunt me, they can't encore me, they can't do nothing. So like oh it would have been so free. It would have been so free. I mean it might cause them to Terra, to some degree. If this is weakness policy, that sucks. Um I am gonna go and erode them. I'm just gonna trick it I think. See what they lock into. Or see what I can get them to lock into. Let's see. Do they do they agility here? If they agility here, I cannot... Okay, they iron defense. We are we are tricking them. 100% we're tricking them. Uh, get tricked. Oh, they withdraw. Are we just going to switch items with, with uh, Rotom? Dark Rock. Shit. Yo, good play. Good fucking play. Wow. I don't I don't think I died to this, so I'm just gonna volt switch now. But wow, good play. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty decent play. Uh yeah, we're gonna volt switch. I feel like I don't die to Dark Pulse. Nice, okay. Hell yeah, perfect. We kinda die to rocks now, but it's whatever. The Enam is also like free to do what it wants. Um what am I at? 23 HP? I think that's more than 12%. I wanna say it is. Right? 23. Yeah, I, I, that's a slightly more than 12%. Um, so... They still have their Rotom around. Honestly, I'm gonna go into Overquill. They shouldn't go into Enam in front of this, you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense. Because I should have a Poison move, so, like, it'd be really stupid of them to do that. So, I'm curious to see where they do go. Mouse Hold, that's fine. That's actually so fine. I'm just going to go hardcore tonight. There's no reason not to. I, I definitely live six and they die, so. Go ahead and tidy up. Go ahead and tidy up, brother. I should live six. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to roost up. If I don't live six, they're in range of Mach Punch, so it's all good. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm just going to roost up here in the off chance that I do live these hits. They Thunder Wave. Ooh, very cute. I mean, that doesn't matter as long as I roost here. 
It literally doesn't matter. Like, it genuinely doesn't matter. Yeah. Big damage. Or big damage. Big big health. Big health gotten back. Um, so, yeah, they could Encore me for sure. But it's whatever. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay, this is fine. This is fine. They're going to Sableye? Whatever. I'm just going to go hard out into Quillfish. Just makes the most sense, you know? I'm a dark type. They tidied up, so no rocks are gone. The, ro the rocks are gone, which is really nice. So, what is that? What is that? Um, tidy up, Population Bomb, Thunder Wave Bite, maybe, I guess? I would assume Encore, but I guess not. Loaded Dice is gone. Very unfortunate behavior. Uh, I'm just going to SD and hope for the best. Like, like I said, they really shouldn't go Enam. They're finding out about the dark type mechanic just now, which is hilarious. They're finding out about it, Angela. They're learning. I want to just scale shot just to be faster than the mouse hold. Like, we're not going to be able to beat the Enam, but they don't know that. Let's see what they do here. They probably just foul play if I had to guess, which might kill me now after the defense drop. Nightshade, even better. And now we don't reveal the pin missile. We just crunch. Yeah, we don't got to reveal the pin missile yet. We just crunch. Can we talk about how Overkill got its loaded dice knocked off twice in both games. And every time we went for scale shot, we only got two hits. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What the hell, Overkill? But yeah, man, if we just had a poison move instead of pin missile, bro, we'd be set. We'd be literally set. We'd be so fine. Uh, yeah, they go mouse hold first because that makes the most sense. I'm just going to crunch them because it'll kill them. And then we'll see what happens against the Enam. Damn, if I just had a poison move, bro, Overkill easily had this sweep. Maybe they forfeit. That'd be great. But they definitely have a win condition in Enam at the moment. They might Terra, which would be perfect for me. I'm just going to crunch. My best bet. Does the most damage. Scale shot's immune. And pin missile 4x resist. And I don't have my loaded dice. And they do Terra. Best case scenario, it's like ghost or psychic. But it's probably like ground or steel. Which I'm okay with. It's whatever. It's steel. That's fine. We did crunch. Plus two crunch should do some decent damage. Especially if they go for like iron defense or something here. So it's actually benefiting us that we don't have the, the P-jab or whatever. They do go for the iron defense. Okay. Perfectly fine. They can't get, like, a lot of HP back. Like, they're going to drain and kiss me, but I'm pretty sure I'm, like, below half or something. Like, I don't have a lot of HP. So, like, I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine. I'm not going to get enough back. Especially after I go out and erode them and then Thunderbolt them. And, yeah, that'll be my... That'll be... That, this will be this will be the series of events that we take. And also, they're in range of... Surely, they're in range of Bandit Infernape now, even at plus two defense. After this crunch, that is. And, like, if Draining Kiss kills me. Oh, or we just get the crit and Overquill shows you why he's broken when you give him Scale Shot. Hell yeah, man. He couldn't keep the dice on him in either game. But, uh, he probably, you know, he, 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 he caused us to win in both games. First game, he weakened the Great Tusk down for Iron Leaves to pop off. And then the second game, wow. We 5 0 to the team with the Dark Rye? Crazy. Who would have thought? They made some good plays. I'm not going to lie. They made some great plays. They had a really cool team outside of the Dark Rye. I don't know what the Sableye was cooking. A lot of people do forget about the whole prankster into a dark type mechanic. And unfortunately, Meech there was a victim of said mechanic. Regardless, that's going to be it for me today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.